Oh, how many in the resort city will roll with the tide? Last week we reported proposed routes light rail could take in Virginia Beach, and tonight was the first of three opportunities for the public to weigh in. New at 11, 10 on your side, Anita Blanton tells us what people are talking about tonight. Anita? Tom, we found mixed reaction. The city isn't expected to move on a decision for these until at least next year after the completion of the study and getting more input from the public. But with so many unknowns, it seems the biggest point of contention right now is the cost. And more specifically, who's footing the bill? If you take a look at these boards with projected dollar amounts for the transportation options on the table, you know the results of these studies will require a bit more than a drop in the bucket. I'm not sure how they think they can just keep digging in the taxpayers' money for more and more money because it's going to fall to us in the long run. According to officials, the monetary breakdown of the plan to extend light rail to Virginia Beach has the federal government paying 50% of the cost, the state 25%, and the city being held responsible for what's left. George Donnelly's not convinced. Another 25% is supposed to come from the city of Virginia Beach, which they can't even pay for our trash, so they charge us a $22 a month fee. But we found others here who believe the investment is worthwhile. If you want to attract some new business, if you want to attract um, maybe a sports team, if you want to make this area grow, you have to make some major decisions. HRT clearly sees the potential for great things. What we're looking at is to the oceanfront in the year 2034, approximately 10,390 riders. That translates into over 3 million riders a year, projections far over what the tide carries now. There's also the option for bus rapid transit, which costs less, but they believe could still be a benefit. We've never said that public transportation or light rail is the solution for traffic congestion. It's just a choice that you perhaps want to leave your car home one or two days a week to have a different uh, uh, opportunity. Only time will tell whether this meeting and those to come can win over the skeptics they have now. It's not a win for the taxpayers, I can tell you that, but that's not what they're worried about anyway. Now that man went on to say, why not improve the current bus system and run the rail to the base first? Remember, there are still two meetings to go, so you can voice your opinion Wednesday at 6 p.m. at the Doubletree by Hilton, Virginia Beach, and on Thursday at 6 p.m. at the Holiday Inn, Virginia Beach, Norfolk. Anita Blanton, 10 on your side.